Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to get the possible MetaMask airdrop. It is not confirmed if MetaMask will be airdropping a token or not. However, they are the most used application in all of crypto. Everybody uses their wallet. They are very well funded and well backed by consensus and other big wallets such as Trust Wallet have done airdrops in the past. So it is speculated that MetaMask will airdrop a token in the future. It could be one of the biggest airdrops ever. So I'll show you the steps to do in order to qualify in this video. If that interests you, be sure to stick with me until the very end. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So MetaMask is the most used wallet in all of crypto, but just using the wallet itself may not be enough to qualify you for the airdrop. So I'll be showing you right now exactly what I am doing to hopefully qualify myself for the airdrop. So I will leave this link down in the description below. This is the MetaMask portfolio website. MetaMask has built-in functionalities that not a lot of people know about. And if you're not using these functionalities, if they do airdrop a token, it is possible that you might not get the airdrop because you do not use the built-in functionalities within the portfolio wallet. And also, like I said, other big wallets have done airdrops in the past. Trust Wallet token, one of the biggest. Right now, this is sitting at rank number 93 in the market cap with a $512 million market cap. I actually got this airdrop back in 2021 for being just a, a user of Trust Wallet before most people, I suppose, so they gave me the token airdrop. So it is possible MetaMask will also be doing an airdrop like Trust Wallet. MetaMask is bigger than Trust Wallet, which means that in theory it should have a bigger market cap if they do create their own token. So let's get into step number one right now. Step number one is gonna be very simple. All we're gonna do is use the built-in swap feature over here on the MetaMask portfolio website. As you see, you can swap between Ethereum and all of the ERC20 tokens, really. So say you wanted to swap between ETH and USDC, just swap a small amount. The biggest thing would be doing it consistently over time. All right, don't just do one swap and then never do it again. All right, you want to do this consistently over time. I'm not going to do it in this video right now because gas is $24 and I was just going to swap $18.90 worth. But I've been doing this and I recommend you do this over time, once every two weeks, once every month. Just continue to swap over time, all right? Find what works for you and try to do it when gas is less expensive. All right, so that's step number one. And you can also do it between a bunch of different networks. So when I say do one swap, I really mean do one swap on each network every week, every two weeks, right? Optimism, BNB, Arbitrum, right? Hop between the networks, swap around $20. If you can swap more, if you have the means to do so, definitely do more. Just swapping 50 cents might not qualify you. So really try and think here in the perspective of the creators of MetaMask, how do they want to reward the community? They don't want to reward people that swap 50 cents one time. All right, if you actually use this though, they are going to most likely reward you. So all the different networks, do your swaps, all right? That's step number one. Step number two is gonna be use the built-in bridge over here on the MetaMask portfolio website. And again, you can go between Ethereum and the other big EVM chains like Optimism, BNB, Matic, Arbitrum, and Avalanche. So just go ahead, you can swap some ETH over, swap it back and forth, try to use as many networks as possible. And volume is important, so use the bridge over time again, all right? And I'm not gonna show you how to use the bridge, but it's very simple. You would put in the amount of ETH you wanna transfer over, hit continue, confirm the transaction, and that's it. It's very basic transactions. If you've watched any of my airdrop guides in the past, you should have the skills to be able to execute a transaction on the MetaMask portfolio website. It's not rocket science. All right, so step number one, swap. Step number two, bridge. Now let's move on to step number three, staying right here in the MetaMask portfolio website. It's going to be to stake Ethereum through the MetaMask site. You have two options. You can stake through Lido or Rocket Pool. As you can see, Lido is paying out a slightly higher reward percentage. Now you cannot unstake your ETH until the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade, but that's gonna be happening tomorrow if all goes well. So as of the time of this video, by the time you see it, you're most likely going to be able to unstake the ETH, but you're still gonna get the equivalent, right, of the Lido Ethereum, the staked ETH. And this sometimes trades slightly less than the price of actual ETH. So 
no big deal, right? Just go ahead, stake some ETH, and that should be another qualifier for the airdrop, all right, for the MetaMask airdrop. Now, moving on to step number four. Again, we're going to stay right here in the portfolio website. Step number four is going to be buy some crypto through the MetaMask portfolio website. This is available in the United States, all right? And you can go ahead and you can use PayPal, you can use a debit or credit card, or you can just do a direct ACH bank transfer. But I would do this at least once and of course do what you can afford to do and don't put more money than you can risk into the cryptocurrency markets. This video is not financial advice. Right, this is all kind of common sense stuff here. Do what you're comfortable with and but just buy some crypto. Use MetaMask as much as you possibly can. That's how crypto airdrops work. They reward the real users that use the application, not just once, but over time. All right, the more you use it, the more tokens you tend to get for the airdrop. So we just went through four steps. All right, you want to swap, you want to bridge, you want to stake, and buy some crypto through the MetaMask portfolio website. Again, I will leave this link down in the description below. Now let's go to the last, the final fifth step of this airdrop tutorial guide. And that is going to be to contribute to a Gitcoin grant. Now Consensus, which is the creator, the creators of MetaMask, right, the company organization, they are very well connected with Gitcoin, right? This is the developer community on Ethereum. And these are all grants for projects that are raising money and we as the community can simply donate funds to these grants. And the reason that I am including this step in the airdrop tutorial is because in the past other Ethereum projects have included a Gitcoin grant donation as criteria for a token airdrop. So I understand not everybody may have the means to donate a small amount of money, but if you can send in 10 bucks or $20, it could potentially reward you in hundreds or maybe even thousands of dollars of the airdrop token so to me it is worth it and in order to do this it's very simple again i'll leave this link down in the description below but all you would do is find a project that you like on here all right you can read all of what they're doing what they are raising money for just click on the ones you like but let's say you wanted to donate over here to this one called better all right all you would do is click on it then you would hit add to cart over here and it would go to your cart and then you would hit check out in the top right. Now you do need to be logged in to Gitcoin. As you can see, my account is already logged in. So I'll just hit authorize. And then we will be able to go ahead and donate a small amount of funds to this Gitcoin grant. There we go. We can select the asset we want to donate. We want to send in some ETH. And let's say we wanted to put in $20 worth. So $20 of Ethereum right now. And I think all you would really have to do is like $20 worth for a donation, 0 0.0104. So you would just put 0 0.010, maybe 0 0.06. All right, and you would hit apply to all here and you say you're ready to check out. And you can just do a standard check out on Ethereum. I've shown you how to do this for my ZK Sync airdrop as well. But here we can use ETH, but the gas is gonna be crazy expensive, I think. Uh, gas is 14 bucks right now. I'll just confirm it for the tutorial's sake just to show you that I am serious when I say that you should go ahead and do this. Well, we're getting some red messages on the screen here. It says your contribution was successful but was not recognized by our database. So I just checked the link it told me to check and we can see here that the contributions were added successfully. So that donation went through, I just sent in 20 bucks paid $15 for gas, but welcome to the Ethereum network if this is your first time. It can be a little expensive paying for the transactions. It is what it is. If you want to avoid it, use a different network to check out like ZK Sync. But these are the five steps that I am doing to qualify myself for the MetaMask airdrop. Again, it's not confirmed that they're going to do an airdrop for the MetaMask token, but it is worth the chance because this could potentially be a huge airdrop. I hope that you did enjoy this video. In this video, I showed you step by step how to qualify for the possible MetaMask airdrop. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.